Rather than a recession, the economy has grown. Rather than falling as predicted, real incomes have risen. Our plan for the British economy is working, but the work is not done then we need to recognise that their hard work benefits us all. So today, Mr Speaker, I'm going to cut the main 12% rate of employee national insurance. If I cut it by one percentage point to 11%, that would be an extra £225 in the pockets of the average worker every year. But instead, I'm going to go further and cut the main rate of employee national insurance by two percentage points from 12 but cost of living pressures remain at their most acute for the poorest families. So instead, the government has decided to increase universal credit and other benefits from next April by 6.7% in line with September's inflation figure, an average increase of £470 for 5.5 million households next year. As confirming our Brexit pubs guarantee, which means the duty on a pint is always lower than in the shops. I have decided to freeze all alcohol duty until August 1st next year. That means no increase in duty on beer, cider, wine or spirits. So instead, today, we honour our commitment to the triple lock in full. From April 24, we will increase the full new state pension by 8.5% to £221.20 a week, worth up to £900 more a year. This is one of the... I have today decided that we will freeze the small business multiplier for a further year. And, And following extensive discussions with the FSB and many colleagues in this House, I've also decided to extend the 75% business rates discount for retail, hospitality and leisure for another year. We were told that this was to be an autumn statement for growth, but the economy is now forecast to be £40 billion smaller by 2027 than the Chancellor said back in March. Growth revised down. Next year, the year after, and the year after that too. The Chancellor claims that the economy has turned a corner. Yet the truth is that under the Conservatives, growth has hit 